The summer is in full swing here in California, so it's time to go over my personal summer style essentials. Stick around. <music> Fellas, welcome back. It's Robert, your everyday gentleman. And like I said, today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my personal preference when it comes to summer style. Now again, this is my personal preference. This is the things that I like to wear, the things that I'm into right now, and you may or may not be into it, but that's the really cool thing about having so many options when it comes to YouTube channels and YouTube uh, personalities that you can look at. Everybody has different things that you may or may not like or may associate with. So I appreciate if you stick around and see if some of the things that appeal to me appeal to you. Now I'm not going to be talking about anything to do with suits or formal wear or even like if you're going to a wedding or something like that. This is going to be more a day-to-day -day, uh, just casual wear when it comes to summer. And again these are things that I like to wear. If you follow me on Instagram um, you can see a lot of what I wear on a regular basis. So this is going to be really my personal style. Now, if you're new to my channel, I want to thank you for clicking on this video. Again, my name is Robert. Here I talk about everything to do with men's lifestyle, whether it's fashion, grooming, fragrances, cigars, whiskey, really anything that I feel encompasses being a man in today's modern age. I invite you to subscribe and engage in the comments down below. And to my returning subscribers, I want to thank you for your continued support. And with that, let's jump into it. Now, in the interest of keeping things organized and flowing, I decided to start from the bottom and work my way up. So the first item that we're gonna talk about relates to your feet. One of the main things you're gonna need to pick up if you don't have them already is white sneakers. Now, in my opinion, there's nothing that beats a nice, slim, all white sneaker. There's different options you can go with as far as brands. One of the brands I really like is a Vans. The slip-on version, the slip-on version to me is just a really cool shoe. You can go with different options as far as leather or canvas. Personally, I stay away from canvas. There's a lot of barbecues and pool parties and opportunities for those shoes to get dirty and canvas makes it harder to keep them clean. So I stick with the leather option. You can just get home, wipe them down if they get some, you know, beer, barbecue sauce or whatever it is on them. Uh, makes them easier to clean. So, but definitely get yourself a nice pair of some slim silhouette, all white sneakers. Now, when we're talking about sneakers, one thing that you're gonna need is no-show socks. Now, you never wanna go sockless. It creates a bad situation when it comes to odor and sweat, so you wanna make sure you have some kind of material in there to soak up the moisture and things that build up in your feet, and no-show socks are the way to do that. Now, I recommend you get some white ones and some black ones, just depending on the type of shoe that you're wearing. You know, over time, as you're wearing them throughout the day, whatever it is, you may get a peak of the, of the sock itself, and it just blends in a little bit easier if you're wearing a white sock with a white shoe or a black sock with a black shoe. One of the things that you wanna make sure that you're getting in those no-show socks is a gum lining around the opening that goes onto your foot. This helps to prevent the sock from slipping off and going under your shoe, which I've had happen with other no-show socks. Now I have some from New Republic that I like. I also have some from Vans. The Vans ones are the ones that I use most often and I've really had no problem with the Vans one. They're a little thicker, so in the summertime, good for absorbing, but it does make your feet a little bit warmer. But they've been very good. They don't slip off under my feet and uh, you know, I haven't had really a problem with them. They're inexpensive, so definitely check those out if you're looking for a pair of no-show socks. And another item for your footwear is sandals. Now, sandals, I don't wear unless I'm near a body of water. There's different options you can go with when it comes to sandals. Personally, I prefer thongs. I'm not big on slips outside of the house. I do own a pair of slips that I just kind of use when I'm walking around the house as kind of house shoes. But for the most part, if you see me at the pool or you see me at the beach, you'll see me in a nice pair of just standard thong sandals, like the Havaiana style to some with like a leather strap. It just really depends on what you prefer. I prefer the ones that are a little dressier looking with the leather strap, but thong to me just looks a little bit better than the slip. Now, as we're moving our way up, the next item of clothing that I'm gonna talk about is shorts. Now your shorts, just like anything else, need to fit you properly. Make sure you get the nice proper cut. Personally, I like a nice short that hugs your leg. You don't wanna have too much excess fabric on the side. And then when it comes to the inseam, really just depends on a couple different factors. One, of course, is your height. Your overall height is gonna impact how long your inseam is gonna be. After that, I would say take a look at your leg condition, your leg thickness. You know, are your legs a little muscular or are they on the leaner side? If they're on the leaner side, I would opt for something a little bit longer. If you're a gym rat and you hit that squat rack really hard, then you might go with something a little bit shorter to show off some of those gains. And then really after that, it just comes down to your preference. Now, personally, I always recommend 
above the knee. From there, again, it's just your preference, but anything below the knee, to me, just doesn't look good. It looks juvenile. You could do much better with something a little bit shorter. So give them a shot. It might be outside your comfort zone, but you never know until you try them. Now, when it comes to materials and colors, I like to stick with more solid colors when it comes to my shorts. I'll go from denim to cotton to maybe some linen. I don't own many linen shorts, but linen is an option. And then I stick with solid colors. I don't really go out with any patterns. There might be some subtle patterns here and there, uh, but that's pretty much it. If you are wearing denim, I would say keep distressing to a minimum. Now, if you're wearing shorts, chances are you might need a belt and there's different options when it comes to the belt. I think with the belt, you have a lot of leeway when it comes to options. Of course, you can go with a braided option, you can go with canvas, you can go with a leather belt like you always do, but you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to colors. I don't think you necessarily need to match your uh, belt to your shoes like you do when you're dressing like you normally would with uh, jeans or, or you're dressing for a night out or you're dressing in a suit. Uh, you can get away with mixing up colors a little bit more as long as it still coordinates with the rest of your outfit when it comes to your belt. I do recommend, however, that you're matching your buckle with your accessories, you know, matching the metal to metal. If you're wearing a silver watch, make sure you have a silver buckle, things like that. But outside of that, when it comes to the strap, feel free to have a little fun with it. Now, when it comes to tops, this is, I think, the broadest of all of the items of attire that you wear in the summertime. You have your t-shirts, you have your polo shirts, you have your button downs, whether it's long sleeve or short sleeve. And then there's a number of different color options and fits and things in between. One of the main things that you're gonna want is that you have a breathable material. Stick with, of course, cotton, linen. There's also some performance shirts that you can go with. I love these in the summertime because they have a little bit of stretch in them and they also keep you cool. But the material is something that you wanna make sure is keeping you cool in those warm summer months. Now, when I talked about shorts, I talked about keeping the colors and patterns a little more mellow, but on your tops, this is where I would recommend taking some risks. Now, obviously you can see here, I'm wearing a pattern shirt. Floral shirts are very, very popular right now. And I'm a fan, I have a number of floral shirts in my closet. The material typically is something that's very breathable. It's a little more open collar. The, the camp collar is a little more open, giving you a little more casual look. But don't be afraid to play around and take some risk when it comes to the colors and the patterns of your shirt. Just make sure again that you're coordinating some of the colors in the shirt with the rest of your outfit, whether you take a little bit of a detail uh, from the florals in the shirt, coordinate that with your shorts, things of that nature. And then of course you've got your accessories. Now because you can't really layer too much in the summertime like you do in the fall and the winter and the cooler months, your accessories is what's really gonna take your outfit to another level. Your watch, bracelet, necklace, uh, if you're wearing a hat. Uh, if you are wearing a hat, by the way, I would stay away from a sports team uh, I just like wearing personally more of a solid color or just like a general logo if you are wearing a hat. And then of course you've got your frames, you want to protect your eyes from the sun, but having a nice pair of shades that fits your, your face well um, just accentuates your, your overall appearance. And then the last thing, you know I'm definitely going to touch on your fragrance. Make sure you're wearing a nice fresh scent, citrus, something like that. I have a video that I'll link right here where I talk about my summer fragrance list. So click on that and check out some of the scents that I like. Uh, the main thing is you want the scent to be nice and fresh and clean, maybe a little citrus. You don't want any of these dark, heavy, uh, spicy, very woody uh, scents that you would wear in the winter time because it's hot and it's gonna be offensive. You don't wanna do that uh, and you don't wanna spray too much. But honestly, with these summer scents, you can probably get away with spraying them a little bit more because they are much lighter uh, and it's probably gonna benefit you more from going a little heavier with the spray because a lot of them don't really last but you definitely wanna make sure you're wearing the fragrance. And that pretty much wraps up my summer style guide. Now, if there's other things that you wanna talk about, if there's other things you want me to go into greater detail on, make sure you put that in the comments down below. Now, if you did enjoy this video and you got some value out of it, I appreciate if you hit that like button. I've got more videos coming that you guys will enjoy, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of those that are coming up. And again, remember, being a gentleman is an everyday thing. Hope you're having a great summer, fellas. We've got